Teddy Feinberg, Brooke Stockberger, Brooke and Teddy show, lots to talk about. Um, we have the state football playoffs. We have the rivalry games with uh, NMSU and UNM and UTEP, of course. Let's start there. Let's start talking Aggie basketball. They have UNM actually tonight. It's Wednesday night. We film on Wednesday. Hopefully they can come out on top in that one. We'll spin forward to the UTEP game. The, the bottom line, these are obviously two big basketball games. Yeah, exactly. What a way to get momentum going right off the bat. You beat Northern Colorado. You were supposed to, of course. Right. Um, and now you got UNM, UTEP back-to-back. -back. They haven't won up in the pit, so like you said, hopefully they're getting that win to right. go into the minor game. Uh, they got the minors at home. You got to win that. The miners have struggled early here. They've lost the exhibition game. They're not actually up to a rip roaring start, as it were. Right, absolutely. You know, and then you have the you know the Wendell McKinnis thing. You know, he called them out via Twitter. So now it's time for him to step up, get some points, get some rebounds. You know, I know Wendell's going to bring it. I, I do think. I think winning at UNM tonight's a tall order, and if they do, hats off to them. I think they at least have to be competitive in that basketball game, and I don't think anyone's going to deny that. The minor game's interesting because you bring up a good point. UTEP has gotten off to a slow start, but Tim Floyd is there, and I think they're – going to be a respectable program by the end of the year, by the turn of the new year. He's a veteran coach. He can recruit some yeah. talent. Um, but at home on Saturday, I think it's kind of a scary game. I think the Aggies should win the game. I think it's a game the Aggies have to win. But all the pressure's on the Aggies. Exactly. And, and like, that's a little scary. Like you said, Tim Floyd's a great game day coach, he too. Is. Good reporter quarter, and a great game day coach. Um, you know, so he, he could make it close. The Aggies have uh, good size, you know, in the front court. They and um, they can get on the line and shoot some free throws, you know, that could obviously be the difference. You know, I think a big key to these basketball games is pretty simple. The Aggies, and this is all year for the Aggies, their ability to hit the three-point shot. If the Aggies can hit at a one-for-three clip at around a 30% ratio this year, they should be okay. That seems to be yeah. kind of the, the, the margin stick in terms of basketball is concerned. If they go below that threshold, they could be in trouble. I know tonight at UNM they're going to have to shoot the ball well, and Saturday they're going to have to shoot the ball well. And continuing through the year, they're going to have to shoot the three-point shot well. I do expect them to play defense and rebound well in these two games because that's all about effort, and the Aggies should bring their A game this week. 9,000 people was a sellout now. So if the crowd gets out there, they can make the Pan Am rock a little bit and give them that sort of home court advantage that has been kind of missing last year in some of the games. Get out there. Uh, let's move forward. Let's move on to the high school football ranks. Mayfield's here on Friday night. They play El Dorado. Cruces is here on Saturday afternoon, 1 p.m. They play Rio Rancho. And lo and behold, Mesilla Valley Christian is playing a state title game in Gadsden. That's odd. Uh, Brooke, your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, that's where they have to play their home games. They don't have a stadium up here. But it's great. It's a Cruces school playing in a state championship yeah. game. Mesilla Valley Christian, their football program's really in its infancy still. So great that they're already in a state title game. And right. hopefully, you know, the Sun Blazers will bring it home. They can come back up the road from Anthony. Cheering, cheering. I, I'm the Adam Schefter of Class 1A football, and I just want to say that I think I think that, that Fort Sumner, from what I gather, has a real tradition in history at their program. That's who the Sun Blazers are playing. That's 1 p.m. on Saturday, again at Gadsden, again odd. Um, but Fort Sumner has some tradition on their side. I think it's going to be a tough game for Mesilla Valley. Mesilla Valley scores a lot of points. They, they've really blown out their opponents this year. I mean, that's what they do. Yeah, they, they're fun offense. Yeah, they are. They're a lot of fun. In terms of Mayfield, El Dorado, hard-nosed football team, always prepared. Mayfield beat them the last time they played here in the state championship game, which was a couple years ago. Cruces Rio Rancho, that's going to be an interesting game because Cruces is coming off a loss to Mayfield, and they're yeah. going to have to respond. But as we pointed out a couple years ago, it seems like the team that loses the big rivalry game sometimes get hot in the playoff. Yep. And Mayfield four losses last year. They go out and win the state title. But, yeah, um, both those Albuquerque schools are coming down here. This place, here we are at the Field of Dreams, is going to be rocking. Right. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Mayfield at home, you have a really good feeling. You know, Eldorado's a good team. Yep, Mayfield's the rank where they're at I'm for a reason, I'm rank number two. I see Mayfield winning Friday night. The Cruces game might be a little bit closer, you know, but they'll get Xavier Hall cranked up. They want to get that bad taste out of their mouth from the Mayfield game. And I think that's yeah. a spot-on analysis, bro. <laughs> I mean, I, I well, completely I agree. Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> Folks, thanks for joining us as always. Facebook, Twitter, LC Sun hyphen news all day, every day. Have a good day.